Okay, yeah, that's right, oh, Vicky, I know Sandu. It's time we stopped suffering and smiling and started suffering and speaking out. Water lighty, food housey. Now, original suffer head. Imagine a heavy load on your head. Now think metaphorically, that would be suffer head. Then they tell us now, now 1990, then you give us water for United Nations Special Program for Third World Countries. I wonder you give me water drink. 1981, Fela and Nicola Pokuti singing in the track, original Sofa Head. It's 2019, people, and we are not even beginning to start to correct the situation. In the 1970s, we drank clean water straight from the taps in towns and villages. The source was the main supply. But today, not anymore. It's water from plastic polythene bags, affectionately called pure water. There is nowhere near enough electricity to conduct meaningful lives and business. The biggest change in this sector is the move from the name NEPA to PHCN, DISCOs, and JENCOs, and other paraphernalic names, but little or no power. Then rice, rice, and more rice, but still not enough. And quality is so poor, no other nation will buy from us. Were it not for some imports, some of us would not know just how nice rice could be. Our yams, cassavas, and fruits are not exportable in the main. Housing, failure, everywhere and every government. No systemic approach to deliver at any level. Affordable, sustainable, and even a little luxurious. My friend, Dr. Chi Iro Mwanya, delivered a talk that tells us what to do. Shame to every president we have had since independence. Shame to all ministers and governors, everyone since 1960. They posture as statesmen and women, as leaders and mentors. They are a total collective shame. The results are there, I'm not making up anything. While the secretary to the federal government continues to hold retreats by the week for government workers, he would do well to look at the archives of Fellas Music and select a track for each of his retreats he will soon find that the nation is standing still. What a great way to start a retreat. I call this initiative Fela Sweeten's Government. Perhaps when we look back at old documentation, old music, old art, old buildings, we will remember that we are not making any progress and it will help us plot for the future. I, I agree with you, Chuka, straight up. I, 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 so I let want me just to make this point very quickly before because you, it was in my mind. If you remember the last song, oh, okay. a commission <laughs> for dustbin, no solution. Sure. Commissioner <laughs> went to sure. London no to so study how to ah, carry dustbin. Dustbin, no solution. In commission for dustbin, no solution. No solution. No solution. And, and so to date, we still have dustbins all over. Yes. So I agree with you. Let's begin to start every retreat yeah. with one fella track. And yeah. that might send a good message. Mm. Yes, and I also agree with you because um, I think the point about you made at the end that we need to chart our course mm. because a lot of times you use all this big language, you know, you, you put a, your program out there and say this is my plan and every, yeah. every governor wants to come in and have a program laid out. So it looks as if you're making progress. progress. But if, you're, if you actually have a way of measuring it that yeah. people can see that actually you're just going around in circles. Absolutely. You know, off, the, off the program I was telling yes. about my husband saying yes. a lot of schools are very good at packaging, they'll give you a report. But if you want to know, you talk to the child, and you can see the child is actually it's not developing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so we shouldn't fool ourselves. And the other thing I wanted to just point out, because um, Victoria in the previous one was saying we don't know how to manage. I don't think it's a matter of knowledge. I think it's a matter of wanting to do the right thing. You know, because clearly, you know, people, when they're managing their own personal business, they know what to do. So they know what to do to make it more efficient for them. But when they feel that they're managing the country's business and everybody wants to take the one that fits them, then they become wasteful, they become greedy. So it's not, for me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. Yeah. So the, it's a conscience issue. Because the way, the way most of these people see Nigeria now is a, is a nation about to collapse. Yeah. So grab what you can what grab you can. Mm. before it collapses. Yeah. But they also forget that if it collapses, even that you grab is not sustainable. It's not, yeah. So you won't even have a place to yes. keep it. So yes. the better, the, it is better for us, rather than grab, look for a way to fixing the problem. And then without grabbing, you will live happily. You will live happily and longer. Mm. Yeah. There's something that um, I think is part of the problem here. We like imported solutions. Okay. 
to problem. Like you were, if said in the tap in the. A seventies and eighties, people drank water from the tap. People the world Nigeria was a bit I saw yesterday an old newspaper of nineteen seventy seven or so. Seventy four. Okay, seventy four. No, not traffic. Nepal uh, ECN. Elect okay. Electricity Corporation, Corporation, Corporation of Nigeria. Nigeria. And they said notice of slight interruption. interruption of, uh, and they were apologies apologizing to Nigerians that they would take light for electricity for a few hours. Yes. To enable them to undertake some maintenance. Some maintenance. <laughs> and it sounded like fable for someone like me, as old as I am. Mm. I've never witnessed something like that. So funny. there was a time in this country when yes. things actually worked. So you can see the level of but, but I think the problem is that we like solutions presented on power PowerPoint. We like things mm -hmm. that look flat. Some of the solutions Retreat are solution. actually things that require localized knowledge. Let me give you one example. Mm -hmm. There was a floating school in Makoko. Yes, yes, okay. All the houses in Makoko, the houses built on stilt on Todd Mellon Bridge. Yeah, that's right. The people have lived there for yes. decades. Yes, yes. And they always have and built their is. houses with wood. wood. They have their local technology yeah, that they use right. to make yeah. those houses. Yes. We've never heard of any casualties. Casualties and so on. One day, they built a floating school mm. with the best of technology mm. from Europe. Published it with a lot of fanfare. Mm. It appeared in a lot of international journals as a floating school in Lagos. Access to education for young children living in Islam, blah, blah, blah. It's floating school within a few years collapsed. Mm. It, it, yes. The floating school, the amount of money that was spent on that floating school could have built hundreds of schools on land, on dry land. You see, but yeah, that yeah. is to tell you that we need to Localize. maybe go back to the past Localize and our ask ourselves, our what are the things we did in the 70s and 80s? We us. need to give people confidence. Hmm. So many people are not even doing their job. You have people employed in various sectors at the ground level that are not they were doing these jobs before yeah you have someone who is maintaining the little boreholes in that little town or village mm -hmm. yes. and he goes in and opens it a certain period of the day right, and they yeah. maintain the pipes by themselves they don't need yeah. to get julius Berger and other people to fill in small small potholes they correct. do it by themselves <laughs> yes. we had these things had functioning system, before correct so we need to go back there and then people need to call their representatives to order get them for town hall meetings and then they account for what mm -hmm. they have done. Mm -hmm. yeah, that sounds like a plan. Right? Where, I like that. Where, yes. where it failed, <laughs> which is back to that localizing. Where, where it yes, failed local. was where you now started using the funds meant to manage and maintain these things to pay for pension to some of these people, people. for doing nothing. Yeah. And so the fund that was readily available could no longer take care okay. of, of those what things. So they had to. Yeah, but, 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 but the, the points he made yeah. about when you. Call town hall meetings, give account. Oh, these are the things I've done. These are the areas I made progress, I didn't make progress. There was a particular state that just conducted the election, whereby governors from other states had to go and kneel down okay. during campaign to say, We know he failed mm. in the first time. Yes. Allow, him, yeah. to Allow him. him. He will redeem himself, yes. And look, what, that happened, makes it during, and, what, what happened during the election? Just like there was a public consensus of mm. failure. Mm. But what, did, what happened after that acknowledgement of failure? Some bitter pills are best sugar coated. We don't need any sugar coating, however. We'd like to hear it from you straight. So here we go. On hateful actions, speak louder than words. Osas. Ewere says, love you all. Love plus TV. <laughs> we love you too, Osas. No hate here. Iyobo Festus follows up by saying, hate speech is not Nigeria's problem. Doing the right thing matters. On Nigeria divided we stand. Tanebi 291 says, thanks liberals. You are on the right track as contributor in media houses. Plus TV, you got the right person on your platform. Liberals has a fan club. Oh. <laughs> Rasta Manjaman says on the same matter, ah ha ha ha, this might be the thousandth time I have heard this, but nothing happens. We are the problem or cause of our suffering. On the magic trick of the stock market, Kayade Diamond says, I was in SS3 then when Fashola implemented a 20,000 after school job for about two months. I bought shares with the cash. Man, I cannot remember where the share is right now. My country is a failed state. Total reform is mandatory. Like we said, no sugar coating. 
Keep your comments coming in on our social media platforms, on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram, at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. To catch up with the previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com forward slash The Advocate. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. After the break, fresh off the block, John speaks to wastefulness or underutilization where our brain resource is concerned. What's up, Doc? <laughs> 